It is the very, very beginning of the year. 2024 is starting off freezing cold. We are kicking off 2024 here in a brand new country. And Finland is really special because the Nordic countries have been so high on my bucket list, like sitting solidly at the top for quite a long time now. The dream has come true. We have been making our transition over here from Vienna, Austria. We actually flew in here yesterday. Woke up bright and early on New Year's Day in Vienna. We had a layover in Copenhagen, Denmark, and then we are currently in Helsinki, Finland. And we're gonna stay here throughout the week. And tomorrow we are actually going over to Tallinn in Estonia, so new country, um, to go check that out because it's not too far from here. You can take a little ferry over there in a pretty short amount of time just for a day trip so we're gonna do that at the end of the week we're gonna be taking a overnight train 12 hours long all the way up to lapland rovanemi finland which is going to be our home base for the month we actually originally were going to home base here in helsinki which is more of a city vibe but when you think of Finland in the winter, at least for me, I'm thinking of Santa Claus's village, reindeer, snow dogs, the whole bit. And if we're gonna be in Finland in the winter, that's where I wanna be. Even though it's so high up there, it is literally equal to like the very, very top of Canada. It is so cold, um, but I think it's gonna be magical. This is such a once in a lifetime experience and a huge experience that I am ready to embrace. And yesterday was so much fun because we had that layover in Copenhagen and that was so unexpected. So we had originally anticipated staying in the airport for those four hours that we had a layover, but we landed at 9 a.m. and we were a little bit early and our flight was not boarding until 1.10 p.m. We were like, you know what? what if we actually went out into the city like what if we did that because europe is just wonderful there is a metro that takes you right into copenhagen to the city center in about 30 minutes or so it costs eight euro per person round trip to get into the city center and back to the airport metros are just incredible and like if we would have wanted to do something like that in the states you would have had to uber into town and a 30 minute uber is not cheap at all right but because of the way this city is set up and because we had this amount of time we got to go into denmark this is just really exciting because the scandinavian countries have been at the top of my bucket list for a while now and we're just we're in our first one it's only for two hours on the layover but it has been so magical so huga and i'm so so thankful that we got to do this when i studied abroad in college one of my teachers who was our chaperone really wanted to go to copenhagen and we were in the uk um, and he wanted to extend his trip out there at that time so like 2016 i had never heard of copenhagen before so I looked it up and it's been stuck in my mind ever since. So yesterday was the day and finally came true. We just walked around like the main square and went to the main strip of colorful buildings that Copenhagen is so famous for. It was so beautiful. It was freezing rain. It was cold. I'm not gonna lie, Steven, <laughs> poor Steven packed his jacket in his checked suitcase because we weren't planning on doing this. It was totally impulsive, but it was so much fun. I'm so glad we did it. We went to this cafe, which was the most Huga cafe ever, which means cozy. I'll put a definition of Huga on the screen for you so you can know what that is. I'm gonna be referencing it a ton in the next few videos um, and probably for the rest of my life because Huga is my favorite concept in the world. But basically, this cafe was so great. We got breakfast there. It was delicious. It is just as pricey as everyone says, so that's good to be aware of. But 
um, it was worth it. I absolutely could not think of a better way to bring in the new year and to kick off this next leg of our journey. So anyways, we stayed out there for about an hour and a half, two hours, went back to the airport, still had plenty of time. Um, we went to the lounge in the Copenhagen airport, thanks to our priority pass, which is a freaking game changer. We love it. It was a Carlsberg lounge, and then we flew into Helsinki. And when I tell you I have never seen a view out an airplane window like this, it was unreal it was stunning and it was about 3 30 p.m which is when the sunset is so you could see the sun setting out the side you could see the ice on the ground it was crazy it was so cool that's when it really hit me like we are going into the frozen tundra if i didn't mention this before it's january right now and i think that's either insane or brave however you want to look at it to want to travel to finland during this time especially for a whole month like this is gonna be really really cold we got off the plane yesterday and had to bring our luggage obviously to our airbnb and it, it was cold like i could feel in my nostrils icicles forming like in side my nose it was such a strange sensation steven had little ice particles forming on his mustache and our hands were hurting from um, the cold and carrying our suitcases. So it was, it was tough. We're gonna have to take it in small doses of being outside, but it's so worth it. It's gonna be, again, a once in a lifetime experience. I'm so thrilled, I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm just so grateful to be here. I'm just like in my total winter mode. Speaking of, I need to get my coat. So that's the story on how this next month is panning out. And I'm so, so excited to share this part of the journey with you because I just think it's one of the most unique things that we have ever done and will ever do. So we're gonna go into Helsinki now and go explore a little bit. I've got all my layers on, as you can tell. And we're gonna start off this beautiful Finnish adventure. Here's a quick little tour of our Helsinki Airbnb. It was a studio apartment that was actually run by a previous Disney cast member who's from Finland, which is such a wild synchronicity. We knew some of the same people from VIP tours and guest relations from when we worked there, so that was a very small world moment. There was this really nice bakery that was only a two minute walk from us which was much appreciated in these cold temperatures. I definitely went here multiple times throughout the week because I loved it so much and their green juice was particularly amazing. It was at this market that I realized that reindeer was a very normal thing to eat around here. We also got some salmon soup, which is a staple meal here in Finland. We are out here in Helsinki. How cold are you, Steven? I can't hear oh, anything you're saying. What did you say? <laughs> How cold are you? Actually, I feel pretty warm. We just left the local market, so we saw that these are like record low temperatures in the past 10 years. I think up in Rovaniemi, it's negative 37 Celsius right now, which is insane. But um, yeah, even when it's normal temperatures, it's gonna be cold, but we're cozy, we're making it work, and it's beautiful. Also, it's like 3.30 in the afternoon right now and the sun is setting, so we're gonna go see as much as we can during the daylight. Yay, let's go! Yay! <laughs> These are some of the remaining Christmas market stands. This <laughs> of course you do. Finland. 
<laughs> Looks just like you. Thanks. That's what I'm gonna look like in uh, February. What is it? They're snow tongues. Let me see. Oh my gosh. You know those little uh, clamp things? Yeah. They make snow sculptures. Oh my gosh, I love it here. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh, this was me. We've upgraded. <laughs> she she gave me the camera. She's like, hey, I'm gonna do something. That's what she does. <laughs> We've upgraded the uh, ensemble here. Well, at least you're matching. I can't. I can barely see, but at least my face is not freezing off right now. <laughs> What happened? That water is frozen. That's the level that we're at. Frozen, sparkling water. <laughs> Just from being in your pocket. We're not in Florida anymore. <laughs> Lux Helsinki is a light festival that takes place every year at the beginning of January. The news reports from 2024 had headlines saying, Lux Helsinki took place in a deep freeze, so that just gives you a little context on how extreme the temperatures were this week. to give a little shout out to Her Finland, which is where we got all of our restaurant recommendations for Helsinki. Her blog and Instagram are an incredible resource if you're traveling to Finland, so I'll make sure to link her info in the video description for you. Yeah. Congratulations, everybody. We got a degree. <laughs> 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 from Germany, his wife's from Finland, and he said he was looking at the newspaper, and it's the coldest it's been in decades. We loved it. The food was really good and this hot chocolate is delicious.
thing to do during a cold front in Finland than go to a sauna. This was our first Finnish sauna experience and it was wild and definitely took some getting used to. To generate heat, you pour water onto very hot stones to create the steam, which is all good in theory. However, since it's a public sauna, you have no control of how often this happens. And in our group's case, it was very intense. We could feel the heat traveling all the way down our noses and throats, but after a while, we figured out a system of covering our faces during the main steam and not staying inside for too long. So we did end up having fun. The other crazy thing you can do here is go into the sauna, get super, super hot, and then run outside and do a plunge in the Baltic Sea. I was not brave enough to do this, but Steven did it twice. that our time in Helsinki was coming to a close. We went to cafe bar number nine for one last meal and we got ready to catch our overnight train to Rovaniemi. Okay, hello, I'm hiding from the wind. We packed up our Helsinki place and now we are going to catch an overnight train to Rovaniemi, which is up north in the Lapland region of Finland. We're gonna have beautiful views of darkness outside. <laughs> it's about a 11 or 12 hour train ride oh. and our train is coming but up in Rovaniemi is Santa Claus Village so we're gonna have a magical time that's gonna be our next home base for phase two. Stephen, how are you doing? Having a beer. <laughs> how was that experience for you? Insanely stressful. Yeah. Tell me what happened. I need to put my Huga hat on. Put your Huga this. hat on. Tell me, tell me, tell me why you're in distress. I'm actually okay. I think Stephen's a little bit more in distress than me, but we switch off on these things, so um, I'm trying to stay centered. But basically, <laughs> our train was delayed for an uncertain amount of time. But that was fine. It only was about 30 minutes delayed. However, the issue was when we got on the train, the train cars were out of order. So everyone was trying to find their cabins and they were all in the wrong places. And we were in 55, which was at the front of the train, but 54 was like four or five cars back. So there was a big traffic jam. Tight spaces, stairs up and down. Our cabin is cute, but it's very tiny. But now we're having a little cup of tea. The students having a beer. We're okay. And we're gonna be on this train for about 12 hours or so. So, what a chaotic experience. That was really something. But, you know, gotta do it, gotta do it for the travels. Do you have anything else to say? No, I'm just gonna drink my beer. <laughs> we had bunk beds in our cabin. I slept on the top bunk and had a pocket for my water, phone charger, AirPods, and peppermint oil. Then it was off to sleep. I think I prefer overnight trains to planes because you can actually lay all the way down and get some pretty good sleep. We woke up in the morning, looked out the window, and we were officially in a winter wonderland. With 
that, I'd like to officially welcome you to Rovaniemi, Finland. This is where the next part of our adventure will take place. We checked into our Airbnb, which was our cozy little apartment for the month, and it protected us from the frigid outdoor temperatures. We were excited about this Airbnb specifically because it actually has a sauna built right into the bathroom. This Airbnb was fantastic and the hosts were extremely kind, and I'm so thankful we got to stay here. Is that the small gym they were talking about? <laughs> really so up next, we're going to explore more of Rovaniemi together. Make sure to subscribe for future vlogs about husky sledding, reindeer sleigh rides, Santa Claus Village, and much, much more. Until next time, we'll see you then.